Hey fellow explorers, welcome back to World Facts Unraveled, the place where we dive deep into the mysteries that surround us. Today we have a truly intriguing topic on our hands this enigmatic windowless skyscraper right here in the heart of New York City. So buckle up because we're about to unveil the secrets shrouded in the shadows of this mysterious building. Before we delve into the secrets, let's get some basics out of the way. This strange building is a 550-foot tall skyscraper located in the financial district in the heart of Manhattan. This building defies the norm and sparks curiosity and mystery. Welcome to 33 Thomas Street completed in 1974, this brutalist-style building has become a source of curiosity due to its unique characteristics. This architectural anomaly stands tall in Lower Manhattan, its unique physical characteristics setting it apart from its glass and steel counterparts. An imposing monolith, it looms over the city with an exterior devoid of windows, a stark contrast to the panoramic views offered by neighboring skyscrapers. Its facade, a brutalist composition of concrete, enhances its enigma, making it an unmissable landmark in the city's world-renowned skyline. The very location of this building, nestled amid the hustle and bustle of Lower Manhattan, adds to its allure, making it a fascinating juxtaposition of solitude and vibrancy. This imposing structure, this fortress of solitude has been a source of intrigue for decades, its stark windowless facade has earned it the nickname the Long Lines Building, but what's inside is even more intriguing. Our journey with this architectural marvel starts in the late 1960s. The era of change and revolution was also a time of remarkable architectural innovation. The construction of 33 Thomas Street was driven by a singular purpose, to house 8 and T's Long Lines Telephone Exchange. This was no ordinary building, it was an emblem of communication technology, a marvel of the modern world. The building's design is the brainchild of John Carl Warnecke, a renowned architect known for his brutalist style. With its stark imposing facade and windowless design, 33 Thomas Street was built to be more than just a telephone exchange. It was built as a fortress, a stronghold of communication in the heart of New York City. The Cold War era lent a unique purpose to the building. In an age of nuclear threats and global uncertainty, 33 Thomas Street was designed to withstand a nuclear fallout. This skyscraper was built not just for communication but survival. For years, the purpose of 33 Thomas Street remained a mystery, its secrets hidden behind thick concrete walls. This towering, windowless skyscraper, a brutalist beast in the heart of New York City, stood as an enigma, its true purpose shrouded in secrecy. The building was known to house a major telephone exchange, yet whispers of more clandestine operations circulated. It was a magnet for rumors and speculations, each more intriguing than the last. Some whispered it was a fallout shelter for the elite, others suggested it was a hideout for government operations. The building's silent, looming presence only fueled these speculations. Yet, amidst the swirling rumors, one stood out, persisting over the years. The building's supposed ties to the National Security Agency. The NSA, known for its covert operations and high level of secrecy, was said to have used 33 Thomas Street as a surveillance hub. But these were just rumors, unconfirmed and speculative, until the Snowden documents came to light. In a groundbreaking revelation, Edward Snowden, a former contractor for the NSA, leaked classified documents in 2013. These documents unveiled a multitude of hitherto unknown government surveillance programs. Among these revelations, one stood out. A reference to a facility codenamed Titan Point, that bore a striking resemblance to 33 Thomas Street. The documents suggested that Titan Point was a major hub for the NSA's surveillance operations, intercepting a vast array of communications. The building's windowless design and fortress-like construction it seemed weren't for naught. They were integral to its purpose, shielding from prying eyes and ensuring the secrecy of the operations within. From a telephone exchange to a suspected NSA spy hub, the truth about 33 Thomas Street is as fascinating as it is chilling. As we delve deeper into the mystery, the enigma of this brutalist behemoth only grows. And while we may now have a glimpse into its past, the full story of 33 Thomas Street is still unfolding. Today, 33 Thomas Street stands as a testament to a bygone era, a piece of history etched in concrete. This monolithic structure, devoid of windows, continues to command attention, a silent sentinel in the heart of New York City. The ownership of the building has changed hands over the years. Currently it is owned by AT&T, one of the largest telecommunications companies in the world. The building is still in use, primarily as a telecommunications hub, its internal workings a hive of cables and servers that keep the city connected. 
Despite its utilitarian function, 33 Thomas Street has left an indelible mark on popular culture. It has been featured in various forms of media, from print to television and even in video games. Its imposing silhouette has become an iconic symbol of an era when secrecy and surveillance were at their peak. Its unique design, a windowless skyscraper, has fascinated and perplexed many, making it a topic of discussion and speculation among architecture enthusiasts. In the realm of architectural history, 33 Thomas Street holds a significant place. It's a stark example of brutalist architecture, a style characterized by its heavy fortress-like appearance and the use of raw concrete. The building's architect, John Carl Warnecke, was a prominent figure in American architecture during the mid-20th century, known for his innovative designs. 33 Thomas Street is arguably his most controversial and discussed work. A structure that defies conventional architectural norms and challenges our perceptions of what a building can be. Beyond its architectural significance, 33 Thomas Street also serves as a reminder of a time when the world was in the throes of the Cold War, a period marked by intense international espionage and the looming threat of nuclear war. It's a physical manifestation of the fears and anxieties of that era, a concrete monolith built to withstand the unthinkable. 33 Thomas Street may be void of windows but it is certainly not void of stories of intrigue and of history. Its walls may not speak, but they echo with the whispers of a past that continues to intrigue us, a legacy that is as enduring as the building itself. As our journey with 33 Thomas Street comes to an end, the enigma continues. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've uncovered about this architectural anomaly. We started with the building's unique design, a brutalist masterpiece devoid of windows, a fortress in the heart of the city. We delved into its original purpose as a telephone exchange, designed to withstand a nuclear fallout and keep the lines of communication open. The plot thickened as we discovered its clandestine use by the NSA, a revelation that added a new dimension to its already intriguing character. We explored the cloak and dagger operations that took place within its concrete walls, adding to its mystique. Today, 33 Thomas Street remains as enigmatic as ever, its current status shrouded in secrecy. Its imposing figure continues to command attention, a silent sentinel amidst the hustle and bustle of New York City. In a city of glass and steel, 33 Thomas Street stands out, a windowless mystery in the heart of New York City. The secrets it holds are a testament to its enduring allure. And there you have it, explorers. The secrets surrounding 33 Thomas Street continue to baffle and captivate us. Is it a hub for global communications, a government facility, or something else entirely? The truth remains elusive, hidden behind the windowless facade of this intriguing skyscraper. If you enjoyed today's exploration into the unknown, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more mysterious content, and turn on your post notification bell so you never miss an update. Until next time, stay curious.